portion of a tremendous weekend. Uh, on behalf of the five Minnesota Division I men's hockey programs in the state of Minnesota, I'd like to thank you for uh, coming here today. Uh, we have several representatives from these programs right now from St. Cloud State. We have Director of Athletics, Heather Weens. We have Minnesota Associate Athletic Director, Tom McGinnis. And from Bemidji State, we have Director of Athletics, Dr. Rick Gove. Uh, first off, what we'll have, we'll have Mr. McGinnis with an opening statement, and then we'll open it up for questions. Thanks, Brian. Well, first, I just want, on behalf of the University of Minnesota and our Department of Athletics, uh, I do want to follow up on the previous press conference and congratulate Don on being named uh, the head coach for the next year's junior national team. Obviously, a tremendous um, and well-deserved honor for him and his contributions to hockey. Uh, I know he's very excited for the opportunity. He's going to do a tremendous job, so congratulations, Don. Um, now, uh, the University of Minnesota, uh, in collaboration with the other Division I hockey programs uh, in our state, uh, University of Minnesota Duluth, Bemidji State University, St. Cloud State University, uh, and Mankato State University, Mankato, would like to announce that beginning next year we will be hosting an annual tournament in collaboration with one another. The first tournament will take place here at the Excel January 24th to 25th, 2014. The Gophers, Huskies, Bulldogs, and Mavericks will participate in the first year, while the Beavers will remain idle. Uh, we will host two semifinal games on Friday, with a consolation and championship game on Saturday. Uh, the Go Gophers uh, will participate in each year, uh, each ensuing year, with the other four schools rotating on an annual basis. Um, we all recognize that beginning next year, uh, we'll be competing in three different conferences, uh, but at the same time, uh, we are the state of hockey, uh, and collectively felt it was important that we continue the annual matchups that we've experienced for years uh, and the rivalries that our teams have developed. Uh, we are continuing to develop many of the uh, details uh, for the tournament, and we'll announce them as we move forward. Uh, we are excited to note, though, that we will be enlisting the help of our fans throughout the state to name this tournament. Uh, this spring, we will announce plans for a contest to name the tournament that we hope to be a tradition that continues for years to come. Um, I'd like to thank the, uh, the administrators, uh, coaches at the other schools within the state, uh, as well as Jack Larson and his staff here at the Excel for their commitment to this tournament moving forward. Um, and we're very excited this has come to fruition. As I mentioned, we'll be releasing more details as we come, uh, and are looking forward to hosting the tournament here next year. That will open up for questions. Bruce. Tom, it has a, a, a bean potty type of feel to it. Is that kind of some of the things you're thinking about? Yeah. Absolutely. You know, I think uh, obviously they experienced tremendous success with that tournament in Boston. So, uh, you know, you, there's no, if, if, if someone has a good uh, product, they'll need to reinvent the wheel. So, obviously, we want to capitalize on some of the things that they've took advantage, taken advantage of there uh, and hope to incorporate that into our tournament. Yeah. Did you ever consider that the University of Minnesota might want to participate in the rotation rather than keep playing? <laughs> uh, you know, I think uh, we collectively decided that there would be some value in having us uh, be a participant each year, so that's the route we took. Hey. Uh, is there a trophy or anything for the winner? Or? Those are that's details yet to come, as we said. But that's under consideration. Yes. Too. Rick, do you want to talk about uh, what playing in an event like this will mean for Bemidji State? Sure. No, it's like, you know, as, as Tom said earlier, it's uh, three different conferences for the five Division One schools. And so this will really solidify that, the, again, you have that competition every year and, and you're competing against each other in a tournament, uh, seeing each other face to face. There's no guarantees that you're absolutely going to play every Division One school. And, and this really helps in that, in that cause. So we're excited about it. It's certainly a, it's great news. Our fans are very excited about it. And as Bruce said about the bean pot, uh, they have a, a great thing going there, and we certainly want to transcend that here as well. The, the, uh, the way it's going to work then is there's one team that doesn't participate. Uh, Tom, you, you're going to go on the road during that and play that. Is that how it's going to work? Or? Yeah, well, we've come at the University of Minnesota, we've kind of come up with agreement as well that um, we're committed to playing all four of the schools each year. Um, so whoever we play in the first round of the tournament, uh, we will play the other three schools uh, during that regular season. Yes. Nate. Um, obviously, this is a long-term plan. Or what are your expectations for this uh, to uh, go on? Uh, you know, I just think, uh, you know, obviously we feel we've had great support from our fans and supporters uh, over the years at each of our institutions uh, supporting our hockey programs. Uh, so this is an opportunity, even though we, may, we won't be playing as often as we have in the past, to give an event back to them that they can come and enjoy. Um, so I think that was really the driving force between, behind trying to uh, have this tournament moving forward. 
So really something that we can give back to the state of hockey that they can uh, enjoy uh, on an annual basis. Heather, I know there's been a lot of talk about the uh, in-state rivalries. How much, is, how much do you focus on that at St. Cloud State? I think it's definitely a part of, of what we do, and, and that's the fun part of, of any collegiate environment. Um, and it, one of the great things I think about this tournament is, is uh, I believe that it, the talk really started from the coaches, and so they're bought into that, and they're bought into continuing to make this a tournament that's important for the state of hockey, making this a place where uh, we continue to focus on collegiate hockey, and, and it really be, it remains as a hotbed for, for recruiting and just for our fans, so this really captures that. Uh, Heather, uh, you know, your first year at the university, I mean, obviously this was kind of in the process when we got in there. How much, you know, did you have to kind of play off with different people and try and find out where, where everything was at? If you look at it, there's been a lot of transition. Um, I think Tom's been around for about a year. Um, uh, Bob Nielsen's no longer at the table. I am no, I was new to the, this whole thing. So there was a lot of catching up to do. Uh, really great partnership amongst the schools, though. And, and again, the leadership of, of the University of Minnesota has been wonderful. But catching up, I even did some calls with Gino Gasparini um, in that transition as well. So it has really been a great partnership of, amongst us all and, and really in the best interest of, of the state, of, state of, of Minnesota. John. How will all the games be broadcast on the Big Ten Network or Fox Sports Network? Well, we're hoping to make sure we get them televised, but I think that's one of the agreements as we complete our agreement with Excel and kind of then move forward from there to determine what television partners we can have in with the tournament. Dave. Will a shepherd referee the tournament? <laughs> <laughs> if you had to roll the dice, there would be a chance. Um, we'll have to wait and see. Yes. If it was a consolation game scheduled, did you guys consider not having one in the format? Um, I think we kind of talked from the get-go that wanted to make sure each team got two games out of the tournament um, so they can kind of count on that from a scheduling perspective. So I think that's why we kind of went that route. Any other questions, guys? Yeah, no. Brian. Is there a, a format for determining plays who will each year, you know, like the first game? Uh, we came up with a rotating schedule. We went through multiple iterations of that, uh, of that rotating schedule. Um, uh, but I think that's included in the materials that yes. you guys have got. So, um, no necessary rhyme or reason, but just kind of make sure, obviously, we kind of had that rotation. You kind of played a different school in the first round each year, um, and keeping it back to kind of how the rotation would work. We'll take one more, and then um, we'll get, let you guys get back to the WCHA action. Bruce. Just quickly, Tom, uh, you touched on kind of a, a championship trophy. Uh, kind of looking for a title sponsor, and maybe that kind of goes together. Or kind of. Oh, yeah, we <laughs> want to name the tournament, get sponsorship, you know, have a trophy, <laughs> all that fun <laughs> stuff. All that, all that is what lies ahead for us, absolutely. Thank you very much, guys.